If you're wondering why your Discord is so cluttered, so inactive, or why no one's joining your server in the first place, I guarantee it's because you're doing a lot of stuff wrong inside your server. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the five things that you're probably doing wrong inside your Discord server. Let's get into it. we have mass pinging everyone in your server. Look at it this way. If you personally don't like being constantly pinged from other Discord servers about information that you quite frankly don't care about, then chances are your community likely feels the same way about your server. That's not a diss or me being rude in any way. It's just the truth. And we already established that you feel the same way personally about other people's servers. For example, inside my server, I never send out a mass ping to everyone, but instead I have four different reaction roles that users can self-claim. These reaction roles are for streams, videos, events and giveaways now if it's something very important I will do the occasional at everyone mass ping but that's so rare that it's probably no more than two to three times in a year this way my community can opt in to receive the notifications that they actually care about and not get the ones that they don't don't care about at all it's super helpful at keeping your server members from getting irritated from getting mass pings all the time if you want a detailed guide on how to set up reaction roles properly I actually have a full video on it you can check it out in the description on to the next topic channel ping pinned messages. Let's be honest, no one really looks at pinned messages on Discord. The reason being is that the pinned messages button is hidden all the way up at the top right of the corner and no one's really looking up at the top right corner for the pinned button to look through the pinned messages. And the problem is a lot of people use pinned messages to lay out important info about the channel. And if you're doing that, you're doing it wrong. Instead, take advantage of the channel topic feature inside every channel in your server and type out what the channel is about and any important information inside the channel topic area rather than putting it in a pinned message. Doing it this way will ensure that every single person that goes to that channel sees the, the message at the top because it's always gonna be displayed at the top rather than a pinned message is hidden behind the button that they have to click at the top right. Now, I know you don't get to put as much info inside the channel topic message as you can inside a pin message where you can have 2,500 characters. So you'll have to do your best to get your point across as briefly as possible. But I promise that this is a way more effective method of displaying important information rather than using it in a pin message. I feel like I preached this next one far too many times on this channel, but you have to clean up your server and get rid of those channels that people aren't using. I've joined far too many servers that quite literally have 50 plus channels in them and literally only two or three of the channels are actually being used having a ton of channels inside your server one makes it look very unorganized and two it usually instantly drives away members from as soon as they join your server the reason being is a new member wants to know right away where the life of the server is where are people talking what are the most active parts of the server? If you have over 50 channels in your server, they're not gonna to wanna to spend 15 to 20 minutes going through all the channels, trying to figure out, oh, this is one people are talking in, no one's talking in this one, no one's talking in this one, no one wants to do that. So do your members a solid and get rid of all the channels that you don't absolutely need. Fun fact, if you wanna get some insight on how many people are actually visiting and using each channel in your server, you can head over to the engagement tab on your server insights and that'll actually give you detailed stats that's about every single one of the channels in your server. Before we get into the next one, if you guys are enjoying so far, please make sure to drop a like or consider subscribing if you enjoyed the Discord content that I put out. We're getting close to 30,000 subscribers on the channel, so I'd really appreciate any type of support. Also, if you guys want to join my Discord, I'll have the link in the description. And if you guys are interested in gaming content, I do a lot of gaming over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gesture, if you guys want to check that out. Also, yes, I changed clothes. This is an entirely different day. But moving on, next up we have permissions. There's a lot of different permissions when it comes to role and channel permissions inside Discord. So it's really easy to mess things up. The most common being either people messing up uh, channels that are meant to be read only or messing up when setting up a verification system with a bot or something like that. When you're making your server and you're doing your permissions, if you're setting your permissions for each channel individually, you're doing it completely wrong. Not only does this take a ton of time to do, but it's also really easy to get confused if you have a decent amount of channels in your server server and it's just makes things really unorganized and cluttered it's not going to be unorganized and cluttered visually to the users in your server but on the back end if you ever have a 
problem with permissions or anything, it's gonna be a nightmare to go through every single channel and check to make sure everything's right. The easiest way to set up your permissions is by instead of doing it by channel, do it by category. Doing it by category instead of per channel will ensure that every single channel inside that category has the same exact permissions as each other. So for example, say you wanna set up a welcome category with a bunch of read only channels that only users can read and not message in. Well, instead of setting up permissions for each channel and potentially messing one of those up because you're trying to go super quick, you can just set permissions for that entire category and every single channel in that category will adopt the same permissions of that category. This will also do what I like to call future proofing your server. So for example, if you want to set, add any new channels down the road, you don't have to worry about setting up permissions for that channel later. All you have to do is create the channel, drag it into the right cat the category that you want it in, and it's gonna ask you if you wanna sync permissions with that category. All you do is click yes, and just like that, your permissions are automatically synced with that category. You don't have to go in and edit anything yourself. On to the next one. Just like having too many channels in your server, having way too many bots in your server can also be a big deterrent to new members. This is especially true if you're a smaller server with say only five to 10 members, but then you have 20 to 25 bots in your server. You never wanna have more bots in your server than you do members. I mean, obviously when you first create your server for the first couple of days or so, you might have two or three bots and you're the only one in your server, but you know what I mean. In the long run, you don't wanna have 20 members and 30 bots. That just, that just, that just looks really bad. 90% of the time, you don't need all of the bots that you have added into your server. Yes, bots are cool, but try to limit it to only the ones that you actually need and that you actually use. Don't clutter your server with 30 different game bots and all these different random things just because the bots are cool. How often, ask yourself, how often are you actually gonna use the features that that bot offers? For example, in my server, I have around 2,200 members and I only have four bots. I have me six, mafia bot, giveaway bot, and mod mail. I couldn't think of that last one for a second. If I can get everything done in my server with those four bots, I'm sure that you can as well. You also wanna keep in mind that if you do have multiple bots in your server, you wanna make sure that those bots don't share the same prefix. The prefix being the, the character that you use for the command. So like exclamation point help, question mark help. Uh, that, that's gonna be your prefix. You never wanna have multiple bots using the same prefix. What's gonna happen if you do is a user's gonna try to put in a command and they're gonna get three or four bots that all message them at the same time because they all have, they're all set up on the same prefix. And that's obviously gonna be very confusing. Bonus round. Last but not least, I've got a bonus tip for you guys. If you're using crazy fonts inside your channel names, you might want to second guess doing so because it can cause your channels to look really out of whack for users on certain devices. Now you can use clean natural symbols like the vertical lines that I use in my server or like dots or whatever that a lot of people use. But you want to try to stay away from these crazy text fonts known as Zalgo text that might look a little cool to you, but you never know that it will actually be displayed properly on a device that someone's using. If it's not displayed right and you make your entire server based on that crazy text font, some users aren't gonna be able to see any of your channel names and it's gonna look really weird. But with all that being said, I think that brings us to the end of the video. As always, if you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all my future Discord content. If you have any questions about Discord or you want to hang out in my server, I'll drop the link to my server down below. We have a dedicated section to Discord help where you can ask anything you might want to know about Discord. And there's a lot of people that'll help you out, including myself. But that's it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.